Hey guys, Steven here, and for today's video, I'm going to kind of cover a couple of tips for anybody new to the mechs in Starbound here. So, first thing I want to kind of color cover is <clears throat> the fact that depending on where you're at, when you look through these spirals here, this is where you're going to basically kind of mine and find a lot of different components that you're going to need to upgrade your mech okay so we're looking for these spirals here now it says right there thread is moderate it goes and it follows the same scale as the regular star systems do here so i'm in a radioactive star a temperate one is going to be not it's going to be like low risk um, or a gentle star is going to be less i don't think i have a gentle star on here um gentle stars it's going to be less of a threat right and then you can go up to um like a frozen star and you're actually going to move up you're going to move i believe to uh it's either dangerous or um like there's another step above moderate that you'll get to and then you'll actually get to like a fiery star and once you get there then that's going to be the hardest right and the components are based off of where you're at okay so right now i'm at uh i'm actually <clears throat> in a radioactive star okay so when i click on one of these here we're looking at this threat level it says moderate and this is where we're finding a lot of different components that i currently need to upgrade my mech here now with that you're going to find different blueprints also and you're really only finding at the moderate threat level this is where you're going to start finding more and more blueprints so you need to know this scale for uh kind of where you're going to be finding a lot of the different resources that you're going to need in order to upgrade your mech there. Okay, so for the second tip here, you need to kind of, I mean, you essentially need to put in the work in order to get a lot of these parts. There's no easy cheat or anything like that that I've seen <clears throat> or loophole or quick way to get a lot of these components. You just really have to put in the work to get there. So. One of the things here is you need to actually make sure that you visit these different um, interferences here and then also exploring a lot of the different research stations. So let's go ahead and go to this first spot and we're going to cut and I'm going to show you what you're looking for within here. So always visit these research stations and I'll show you here in a second why. Okay, so we're actually on one of these facilities, and they all kind of look the same, but slightly different. When you go on here, check all of these boxes, okay? You're going to find a lot of different stuff in here that you're going to need in order to, like I said, upgrade the mech here, all right? And explore everything. So you want to make sure that you actually go through and check all the file cabinets, all of that, right? Go down, up, all of that. You need to really just make sure that you hit all of your bases with searching through all these. Now, so I would actually continue to go through here, and we'll actually do it on this side because I see one right down here. So the third tip is going to be check the trash cans, all right? A lot of people skip that. They don't think anything's going to be in there, but look at right? Salvage actuator which is one of the components that I actually need. So you need to make sure that you check those trash cans. A lot of times you might just find like waste paper in there, um, but you do luck out on occasion and you end up finding other components that you might need. And then I believe right here, this is always going to be at any of these stations. This is where you're going to find <clears throat> the quest to actually build your own space station. So um, I'll have a separate video kind of covering all the details with that. But make sure you check everything in the space station here. This is where you can collect a lot of different components for some of the upgrades that you're going to need for your mech. All right, so this is my mech now. Um, although this should be kind of closer to the, this should be one of the first ones that you should do. You need to really complete the uh, 
training missions with the penguin that's doing the mech suit stuff at the outpost, <clears throat> the teleshop or whatever it is at the outpost. And that's really because once you actually complete, especially that second one, this is where you're actually going to allow um, all the upgrades that you're going to find and all of that is going to actually happen. I noticed that I was hitting this wall and I wasn't able to really defend myself and I was dying a whole bunch trying to move through some of these areas uh, because the guys were too hard for me to beat. So you need to complete that so you can actually find the blueprints and begin to upgrade the mech so that this is now far more maneuverable. And I don't die as quick, so I can actually go through here and destroy a lot of these guys. Which brings me to tip number five, which is you gotta put in the work with all these guys. Because a lot of the components that you're going to find are from going to these celestial um, spots and actually going to the distress signal, you're going to find some stuff. But also killing the bad guys. When you start killing some of these guys out here and you do get components... And it depends, like a lot of the rock guys, I don't really find a lot of the different parts that I, I really, really need with all this. But you're still going to get <clears throat> a lot of different things. You might get copper and gold and a whole bunch of other stuff as well with that. So, um, got to put in the work, really, to, to get some of the components. So, right there. Boom, got some gold ore. Uh... But a lot of the flying guys, right? A lot of the different things here. This is where we are going to find <clears throat> a lot of the different components that we need. Let's see if I can get one here. Alright, so those just gave me energy. Um, but a lot of times that's where you're going to actually find these components. And then I visit every single one. Because every time you come out, and they're all going to be a little bit different. I am starting to notice the pattern of what they look like though. But we look in these crates and you're going to find components that you need. Some are more elusive than others, but this is one of the big ones that I need. Salvage proton limiter. Um, these are harder to find, but you really just got to put in the work to actually go from celestial, celestial um, spot to spot and come all the way here, find these, killing bad guys along the way so that you actually can find some components from those guys as well. All right, and then the last tip is going to be you need to make sure that you actually visit these hostile ships also. So not just going to the celestial interference spots, right, these celestial spots. You need to make sure that you actually not only go to the those, but the hostile ships and... Um, the friendly ones as well. So if this is a friendly one, you might find some stuff there. So you need to make sure that you visit these ships. Not only the uh, trade stations, but the ships as well. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and go here. Friendly ship is a little bit easier to navigate. You just show up, you go on there, you just search the boxes. Hostile ships are a little bit different a lot of times. Obviously, you're going to have bad guys to fight. And you're actually going to fight bad guys along the way. And I also want to just kind of recap the fact that wherever I'm at, these are moderate threats. So what I'm going to find here in terms of blueprints for my mech, it's going to be more of that moderate level for that. Once I bump up and I start doing uh, dangerous ones or extreme, you're actually going to find those blueprints there which are going to be higher level than moderate okay so those blueprints coincide with where you're at if it's moderate it's going to be moderate uh, extreme is extreme dangerous is dangerous okay all right so let's go ahead i'm going to cut and we're going to be on the ship showing what we're looking for here all right so we're at the bad guy's ship here a lot of times i'll actually float my mech up and just start shooting on them look out for the turrets they'll either be on the back end um, inside or right here on the outside too. A lot of times I'll wait for them to come out. Easier to just kill them with the mech. Now, you can actually get uh, fuel right here. This is the Urkeus fuel. You can actually take this so you can refuel your own ship off of this so you don't have to mess with going to a moon. And then it really is, make sure you go through all of these and you need to check every single box, check those trash cans, 
I don't need that. You'll find a lot of good stuff here, okay? So it's just now that process of checking everything as you go along. Let's get rid of these guys. Now, um, I've talked about the notion of if you're on a gentle or temperate star, it's going to be easier in terms of the difficulty of the uh, bad guys, but that coincides with the blueprints that you might find and all of that. It's also going to coincide with the parts and the components that you're actually going to find from going on bad guy ships and, and going to those celestial in interference spots and all of that. So you have to keep that in mind as well. So if you want certain components, you need to make sure that you're in the right uh, solar system in order to get that. So if we're looking here, right? So this is an advanced mech blueprint, right? Let's see what we got here. Sleek mech legs, I believe I already have those. Um, but you're going to find those advanced mech parts. I need to go to a frozen star in order to get um, more advanced parts from here. And then I need to go to a fiery star to get the next tier up. All right. So it's basically going like gentle or temperate to radioactive, from radioactive to frozen, from frozen to fiery. All right. Um, that way you can actually find the goods that you need in order to make whatever the component's going to be. So you're slowly working your way up. And it is just a long grind initially for you to get enough parts to actually be able to build something. It just takes time. That's the part I was reaching. I mean, I was kind of getting uh, a little uh, upset initially because I was going around and it is it took me a while to find all this stuff and to learn the curve of what you need to do but you really just need to put in the work in order to get a lot of these components right because once i go here right and i start looking at some of these other components like this is actually something i found on an extreme zone and you can see the tier right we go red orange yellow and then it goes green i think it finishes at blue or something like that but the salvage nano receptacle, you don't get that until you go into a fiery star, right? Uh, and you can tell too, just because of the solarium right there, that's what I'm gonna find in a fiery star solar system. We have frosium here, right? So this is going to be in a frozen star system, right? Titanium, you can find that anywhere. So your basic mech build, and then you slowly move up, right? Another one right here, frosium, right, is what I, I need for this. So. That's going to round out um, the different kind of tips that I have for you to build and collect the parts to build your mech. Just because uh, I know for a lot of people, they're like, how long <laughs> uh, is it going to take? And um, where do I need to go? Like the structure of it, because you kind of kind of have to figure that out initially, which took me a good four to six hours just to learn kind of the curve of all this stuff. So hopefully these tips help you guys kind of speed up that whole process a little bit. If there's any other tips that you guys have that you want to share, please let me know in the comment section below or anything else that you're struggling with that you have a question about. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching and check back soon. We're going to have more of these Starbound videos for you.